if you are curious about affordable housing in the Triangle, we are gonna be hitting Clayton, North Carolina today, so stick around. So Clayton is located to the southeast of Raleigh. It's a really rapidly growing area. According to Google, in 2021, the population was 28,000. Um, so I it bet is it's so much higher than that now. Not maybe, like maybe, anything, maybe. But I bet it's significantly higher with how much new construction has happened in the area since 2021. Potentially, but yeah. So I mean, Clayton is great for folks who maybe work in Raleigh or work on the east side of Raleigh. Maybe you work in the Garner area. It's a great location for that. It's an affordable location. So we're going to be looking at the different amenities in Clayton. We're going to be looking at uh, housing in Clayton, and we're going to be talking about road construction as well. I don't think you can talk about Clayton without talking about road construction. <laughs> So, very true. Yeah. All right, so when it comes to amenities, Clayton is really growing a yes, lot, I so think. Much. Some some of the complaints about Clayton is that the residential side is growing quickly, but the commercial side is lagging. And we're gonna talk about a lot of new developments in the area on the commercial side that I think is really gonna help improve that. One is right here at the Clayton Municipal Park, which is a really cool park. It has brand new play equipment. I mean, honestly, like parks like these are nicer than some of the larger cities, yeah. leaving them nameless in the triangle. Yeah. I mean, this is this is really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's super nice. And you know, you yeah. can see behind this the playground equipment, but there's also like just a giant field with like an amphitheater type thing. So they could have like little concerts in the summertime. Yeah. There's basketball courts, there's other athletic fields yeah. over here bathrooms, which you shouldn't think that you should have to say that, but there are a lot of parks that sometimes don't have a bathroom at them, yeah. which is crazy. Um, so, and there's like some little paved trails and stuff for yep. biking. So definitely really nice. In addition to the new equipment here, also the Harmony Playground opened recently oh. in Clayton and it is such a cute playground. And I think both might have had like some co-sponsorships from Caterpillar, which is a really big employer here. They make like all of the big tractor equipment and things yeah. like that. So they are actually located in Clayton. Um, and I guess they kind of have like helped fund some of these projects um, with the playgrounds, which is awesome. So good job, Caterpillar. Yeah, and yeah. then in addition to the parks, Clayton's also uh, really a beneficiary of the Noose River um, uh, Trail or, or Greenway. So this Greenway is about 32 miles. It starts, I won't say Wake Forest, but it's really North Raleigh and cuts mm -hmm. all the way down to Clayton. So you can hop on that thing if you want a bike, ride it all the way up to North Raleigh, Wake Forest area, which is really cool. It's but there's really an access nice. point here in Clayton, which is the southernmost access point. And then in addition to that, so when you're thinking about amenities, you're also thinking about the shopping centers. Mm -hmm. So in Clayton, some of the main shopping centers that you have as far as like grocery stores, I'm just gonna mention one, but you have the Flowers Crossing area. So there's really two sections at the time. There's one section that has the Harris Teeter and some other shops. There's another that has a Publix grocery store as well. Um, so two grocery stores pretty close by. But the reason I mention it is because there's a huge new addition coming in. It's going to be a waterfront addition. And it's going to be really, really, really cool. It honestly it gives me, to see it, it kind of gives like when I'm looking at the, the artwork um, of what it's you know, projected to look like. It looks a lot like the Fenton in Cary. That's yeah. kind of what it reminds me of. Yeah, it'll be cool if that ends up what it's, what it's gonna look like. Yeah. And the waterfront element is really cool. Not really sure exactly what that's gonna, how much water front it frontage there really is, but it's definitely really cool to get more shopping here. Um, I will say there is not a Target in Clayton. Um, uh, what about Chick-fil-A? Yeah, and there's not a Chick-fil-A in Clayton, <laughs> so come on guys. Chick-fil-A should honestly sponsor me at this point because I talk about them so much in these videos, but there is not a Target in Chick-fil-A, so you will have to drive um, into either like Garner or Raleigh to access things like that. Yeah. And neither of those are bad drives necessarily, but they're not gonna be like super convenient, like right in town. Yeah, yeah. but all, all to say, like I think when it comes to the commercial development side of Clayton, parks, retail, restaurants, it's it's improving. It's growing, yeah, it's which growing is really good. a lot. Yeah. I bet there will be a Target here. And then like, maybe hopefully between the next time we update this Clayton video. Cause you know, we did a Clayton video probably back in 2021. And yeah, I bet like, you know, th this wasn't, this playground wasn't here. No. Army playground wasn't there. Yeah. You know, the waterfront thing hadn't even been announced yet. So there's yeah. definitely a lot of changes coming. And so, Hopefully one day, maybe we'll say there is even more of that commercial stuff. Yeah, so you hopefully absolutely. you won't even have to drive into Raleigh or Garner for other yeah. shops. So as far as housing in Clayton, Clayton is one of the most affordable areas yes. around the Triangle, which is 
awesome for those that are interested in Clinton yeah. because, you know, I think they, it really does have a lot to offer yeah. at a much smaller price point than some of the areas that surround it. And like we mentioned earlier in the video, it's just growing and changing a lot. So it's great to invest in the Clayton area yeah. for sure for your for your home. The average detached homes in Clayton are around 425 yep. and detached are actually below 300. And or uh, attached. Attached, sorry. Yep. Yeah. The attached like townhomes and things like that are below 300 at 289, which is yeah. Awesome. Yeah, which is wild. So a couple neighborhoods that we want to highlight, uh, Flowers Plantation, which is where we are right now. It is a massive, massive neighborhood. So some of those um, commercial spaces we mentioned earlier are essentially part of this entire development. Yeah. Actually, an interesting fact, 15% of the homes sold in the last six months have been in Flowers Plantation yeah. in Clayton. So, I mean, it's just, it's a massive neighborhood. It really dominates the Clayton area, uh, but beautiful neighborhood, a lot of different sections here. Um, you can also, another neighborhood that we want to highlight is Portofino. So Portofino, I wouldn't classify it as a great example of an affordable neighborhood, yeah. but it's an equestrian neighborhood. It's really unique. It's really beautiful. So um, pretty yeah, it's just, Portofino. it's just, a gorgeous area but in terms like Cindy said in terms of housing Clayton great option when it comes to the affordability of it great neighborhoods here two I mean we're just highlighting like there's multiple neighborhoods so we many. could highlight but yeah. for time purposes just two um, one thing I did mention and that I want to hit on right now is road construction so it is getting much better but for a long time Clayton uh, was really I was going to say a victim of road construction. Yeah. That's not that's not the word I'm looking a for. Yeah. <laughs> but they, I mean there was so much construction going on that it was it was hard to get around parts of It was hard to get so, in from Raleigh and yeah. then also hard to just get through to where all the new construction yeah. neighborhoods were cuz so much has developed here that it was just like development after development after development. So like Highway 42 was just so congested. So yep. the good thing is that they are doing something about it. So yeah. you know, I mean it's always annoying to deal with the construction that it but it means you know it's going to get a lot easier to get through eventually and yeah. a, a big portion of it is completed on 42 like where flowers is and where portofino yeah. is where last time i drove through here it was still under construction so yeah that's really and nice. even getting into raleigh so interstate 40 was widened getting into raleigh and so yeah. that project is wrapping up so just a lot of road construction that's existed in the past that's really going to help ease up some of the traffic issues down here but all in all clayton is a great location when it comes to affordable housing. Yes, affordable. If you want something that feels more move-in ready or larger square footage, you're definitely gonna get more bang for your buck in Clayton than you would somewhere like just Raleigh in general. Um, you know, I think it's about 40% of the housing in Clayton was new construction in the last six months. Yep. And so, and even below that, I bet the other 60% was still probably like less than 10 years old, you know? So there's not, there is some older development here, but it's definitely dominated by new for sure yeah yeah well make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you have not already feel free to reach out to us below if you're looking to buy or sell we'd love to be your real estate resource of choice our contact info is below you can also find us on instagram yep we'd love to have you follow along on instagram at the honeycut realtors and we will see you next week